Uh, good morning to you, Greg Wagner, Public Information Officer, Nebraska Game and Parks, back for another great outdoors this Saturday. Greg, thank you so much for coming in. You bet. Showing uh, some of your impressive crafts and repurposing in honor of Earth Day. Exactly, and that's part of the Earth Day, which is today, the celebration, and we want people just to take care of the great outdoors, and we're talking about picking up litter, recycling out of that litter what you can, and then repurposing and reusing. And let's start with the obvious, you know, just how important is it to leave the area better than when you first came and arrived? It's so important. I tell everybody, take along a pair of latex or rubber gloves, mm -hmm. take along a trash bag, and if you're gonna be you know, near any roadway, wear something bright, maybe a bright fluorescent yellow or fluorescent orange um, vest, and then pick up the area. Leave it better than you found it. Leave only footprints, Jack. It's so important, especially along our waters. Love that. Leave only footprints. Mm -hmm. That's a great way to think of it. Now, in the state parks, do you accept volunteer labor for cleanup projects, whether it be groups or single individuals? We do, and uh, I encourage folks, if you're going to be staying at a park, maybe you'll do a little volunteerism yeah. with us and help us pick up litter again, recycle what you can, and you might find something that you can repurpose and reuse. Groups obviously are welcome, whether it's a church group, a scout group, a civic club, nice. always welcome, you bet. And you will feel better if you dedicate just a little bit of that time to volunteer, I'm sure. It doesn't take a lot. No. A little bit goes a long ways. Exactly. Okay, so any ideas when it comes to repurposing and reusing items? That's a couple of the props that you've brought in for us yeah. showing that. Yeah, you know, I'm holding a, a mess kit that I got from a free bin at a garage sale. Can't beat that. <laughs> I'm always looking in the free bins, and you should too, whether yes. it's garage sales, rummage sales, estate sales, or you pick it up for a few dollars. A lot of these things like this for the outdoor crowd can be repurposed. Also, what you're holding there, Jack, is a duck decoy that I had a friend find several of. There were no markings on them to belong to anyone along the Platte River after the Great Flood. So I repainted I them. I love it. And repurposed them. You can tell that I have used that <laughs> yes. duck decoy. It's not the greatest painting, folks, but you know, it's it works. Good. And these plastic items are not still floating in the Platte River, it's that simple. You do it all. I was gonna call you, now you're a painter all of a sudden. I mean, this is not fantastic. Well, you do, but... <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> all right, Greg, well, again, happy Earth Day to everyone. Anything else to pass along for Earth Day 2023? I would tell people, uh, get involved in any neighborhood cleanups. A lot of them are on the schedule already we get involved we're in the Metcalf Park neighborhood where my wife Polly and I live so I would tell folks get involved locally in neighborhood cleanups and uh, you'll feel better about yourself and your neighborhood will look better as well I love it a little goes a long way Greg thank you so much thank you and there's always more information at outdoornebraska.org we'll see you next week